hi guys welcome to another video which is the best tote bag is it Louis Vuitton is it Goyard is it the Saint Louis is it the Artois is it the Neverfull which do I think I'm going to do a full in-depth comparison of the Artois from Goyard and the GM Neverfull from Louis Vuitton which is the best which should you buy what are the differences keep watching if you guys have watched any of my videos, you will know that the, the Neverfull, which is so massive in the GM size, is one of my absolute favourite, favourite bags that I have in my collection. It is literally, I use it pretty much every day. But recently, I bought this. If you haven't seen the unboxing, go and watch that. But this is the Artois from Goyard. And obviously I went for the Burgundy. So, is this going to rival my absolute pride and joy, my, my ride or die? What do we think, guys? So, I'm going to give you a comparison. I'm going to do some pros and cons of each one. And at the end, wait for later, I am going to tell you my thoughts on this. So, yeah, let's start with the Neverfull. I'm sure you've all seen the Neverfull a million times. I probably don't need to run through it, but I will quickly. The GM is massive. It's absolutely massive. You can fit everything. You can pull it in. You can make it really slouchy. I like the slouch. I like it. I like it where you can pull it in. It just hangs. Oh, I just love it. Mine has seen better days. <laughs> the patina on here. <laughs> but anyway, it just shows I've used it a lot. Inside, obviously, it's one massive, great big black hole, and you get obviously the pouch. It has a zipper compartment here, and it has a a little fastening here, so that you can at least pull it in a little bit. But essentially, it is an open tote. It also has. I mean, I've got my pouch onto here, but sometimes I unclip this, and I um attach my airpods case to this so i can find them quickly there's nothing much to the neverfull it's very light it's wonderful i love it i love it strap drop it goes on the shoulder it's comfortable it's light it doesn't dig in it's it's wonderful i love it so that is the neverfull Let's talk about the Artois. This is a little bit smaller. I would say this is in between the GM and the MM in the Neverfull. So if I hold them up, you can see, and get them in the screen, you can see that the Neverfull is just a little bit wider. But the Artois, it has the same overall sort of look but it's a little, little bit more structured. They're both coated canvas with leather trim, but this one, yeah, it has a reinforced corners at the bottom. And you can see there. But the difference between this one, and I'll just show you what I've got inside this in a second, but it has the zipper. So the zipper, so you can see it zips up fully. So, a bit more security for I don't know just being a little bit more weatherproof and things like that it is yeah it's great that it actually can zip up nothing's falling out of this when you put it under <laughs> under the seat of the plane and things like that however what that means because it has the zipper and because it has the it's sort of quite structured piping around here um, it makes it quite you can see I'm pushing this in there. It makes it quite sturdy, which means it's, it's going to keep its structure. So what that means is you, you lose a little bit of the slouch that you will get on the Neverfull. So on this, you can pull this in, you can pull that, those up. You can have this, you can literally fold this up. <laughs> this one, not, it's not moving. It is not moving. So this is going to sit under your shoulder and it just it's really comfortable because it's very you can see that there but it's very very thin at this point so it just feels comfortable strap drop is absolutely great these i think are comfortable they're not as comfortable as the neverfull but i think these will soften in time these are very thick 
compared to these again I don't know if you can see that let's just get this into the shot so I don't know if you can see that these are a lot sort of thick these are fine but I've had this a lot of years so it may be that they, these just need to soften up but I quite like the fact that they stand up at the moment and yeah it's great so that in essence is the artois now i will show you the inside of the artois now i do have an organizer in this and i will i will come to that in a second but this is the organizer from handbag angels um anyway I'll, i will come on to bag organizers so this is the inside of the artois so it is just like a cotton lining the reverse of this and then it has one um pocket area here and you can see the canvas inside there and that is your inside so light colored they're both light colored <laughs> but there you have it there you have it so let's talk about the actual differences between the two so this is the mid size so this is the mm artois which is the biggest artois they do that isn't the really really huge travel bag so this is a fabulous size as i say i think this is somewhere in between the mm and the gm neverfull I don't like the MM Neverfull, the strap drop on it. The bag itself is a great size, but the strap drop is just too tight. If you're wearing any bulky clothing whatsoever, you struggle to get it on your shoulder. This, this strap drop here is fabulous. You can see there's lots of room there. Even though I'm wearing a bulky jumper, but even with a coat on, I tried this on. Um, I had quite a thick coat on when I tried this on and it's, it goes really, really easily. Let's just have a look at the Neverfull. So the strap drop, I don't know if this will show, but the strap drop on the Artois is just a little bit more, a little bit more than the Neverfull. So hopefully I'm holding it out so you can see. It just is a little bit more generous showing it you can see the top of here so it is just a little bit let me put one on this side and one on this side and then you can see so you can see what this one looks like and this is what this one looks like both comfortable but this sits just slightly further down slightly slightly more comfortable i would say so that is a massive plus point, I think, for the Artois. Obviously, it's got the security and it's got the zippable top. It's got the reinforced corners, which again gives it structure. So if you like the slouch, it's going to stop it slouching as much, but it's going to protect the corners. Now, the Neverfull, I'm just looking at the corners of this. There is nothing on any of these corners. The canvas of Louis Vuitton is amazing. So I've had this for more years than I can remember. And yes, the leather has seen better days and it's patinaed, but the rest of the bag is in such great condition, honestly. And I haven't used a bag organizer that much with this, but yeah, so the corners on this are not an issue. I have heard, and I've also heard contradictory stories but i have heard that the um, saint louis tote from goyard the corners do wear quite easily on that one so that is why a few people prefer the artois anyway i went for this one obviously the neverfull obviously you cannot zip up so that for some people is it allows it to slouch more you can pull it in it's actually easy in and out you know to unzip it so some people it's a pro some people it's a con i have bought i'll just talk about bag organizers i have bought two bag organizers this is the first one and this is for the neverfull and this is these are all from handbag angels by the way and it's just beautiful i went for the matching beige <laughs> i think this is called new teddy i think it's called that um on their website and this just goes perfectly inside the neverfull and it has a zippable compartment so it's all velcro so you can you can take this piece off and just have this piece it's really versatile but if you just want that added security you can actually put this into the neverfull and it makes it into a zippable a little bit more secure so this is what the neverfull looks like with the compartment inside 
and it also gives it a little bit more structure if you do want that it keeps this out a little bit more not too much it still has that slouch but that is an option if you really like the Neverfull and you want to just adapt it slightly and then I have this beautiful look at this color it's just insane isn't it it's called ox blood so I got this insert and I went for just the normal one but I also wanted um the bottle holder in this just because I thought if I'm using a big tote I can see myself at the airport or on the train or something and I want to shove a water bottle in but I'd then be scared of it spilling so I've got a liner and I've got my water bottle holder and I will just put this into here and I'll be back in a minute okay I'm back I'm back so that is now with the liner inside it the colour is just perfect it's just perfect and as you can see it just comes underneath so you can still zip it up absolutely no issue but oh it's just beautiful it's going to protect that really light colored um interior so if the light color interior is an issue for you just get a liner it's still super light it keeps a structure anyway but it will add a little bit more structure i suppose if this does go sloucher over time and yeah i just love that i just love it so that gives you a little bit more pockets and things like that inside so let's talk a little bit pros and cons of each each one of them so they're never full it's the classic it's Louis Vuitton it's a piece of absolute heritage but then so is Goyard so is Goyard so the never full really only comes in the three canvases the Damio B and the Damio Zur and the monogram they obviously do some leather pieces and some special edition pieces um in the neverfull but it's always in the mm size which is the one i don't like don't like the strap drop so if you're wanting the gm size and you're wanting that canvas that really easy all weather sort of bag really you've only got those three options goyard you have so many options of colors there's black there's black with uh, tan there's navy there's burgundy there's yellow there's green there's blue there's uh what else is there there is red there's gray there's orange i can't remember what i said now well there are so many to choose from and you can choose something a lot brighter or something a bit more understated i went for burgundy it's still a neutral for me the navy is beautiful the black is beautiful the gray is beautiful <laughs> i also quite like the orange but yeah so you do have a lot more choice in goyard if you yeah if you want a bit more colour so with the Neverfull other than the Damia Urbine it comes with the in the canvas it comes with the Vecchetta le leather I keep calling it Vecchetta and it's actually Vecchetta but anyway and obviously if that is a consideration for you because it will patina maybe go for the Damia Urbine or maybe look at the Goyard because Goyard tends to be the same colour leather as the canvas so you don't have the worry of yeah just that leather patina in and rain spots and things like that both bags are very lightweight both bags are roomy the neverfull comes with a pouch is that a consideration for me no i never use it i never use it but you can a lot of people use it as a little clutch in the evening if they're on holiday or something no i don't do that but it's nice to have that pouch um the artois doesn't come with a pouch the saint louis does come with the pouch so we'll talk about the saint louis in a second but yeah the artois doesn't in in essence it's got more about it because it's got the zipper and it's got the reinforced corner so it gives you a little bit more in that respect price wise okay so from from what i understand my goyard artois was 1940 pounds i think it was just a smidge under 2000 pounds that is a lot of money for a canvas bag i understand that completely and utterly the neverfull the neverfull when i bought it was 550 pounds it is no longer 550 i think these are in the region of 1600 or 1500 i'll put the price on the screen um so there's quite a big difference in price so that may be a consideration if you were looking at an 
direct equivalent to the Neverfull, that would be the St. Louis tote. So I don't have that to show you here, but I have tried it on and I think it's a direct comparison. It's the same sort of size because it's a bit bigger than the MM. This is the GM um, in the St. Louis. Um, so it's bigger than the MM Artois and it has a, a pouch, although the pouch is quite small. I don't think you can take the pouch off though. I think it is permanently in the bag, I think. You get the slouch. The strap drop isn't as great as the Artois, so that was the other reason for going for the Artois. And it is a similar sort of price to the Neverfull, is the St. Louis. So the Artois is definitely that little bit more expensive. So what's my overall conclusion on these? Well, my overall conclusion was that when I went into Goyard, I was very torn between this and the St. Louis because I knew that I loved the, the Neverfull. So I thought if I love the Neverfull, I will love the St. Louis and it just gives me a different option. And then I thought, actually, you need an alternative, not a direct comparison one because you just use it at the same point as this. So this was a fantastic, fantastic option for me because it is that little bit smaller. It, zip, it zips up, it keeps its structure. It won't go slouchy. It's a little bit different. I know it's not massively different, but it is not. Yeah, the St. Louis will be, I may as well just use the Neverfull. So my conclusion is that this is amazing. I think it's expensive. But I love it. I've used it about three or four times this week already. It's just been the only bag I've used and I've loved it. <laughs> Honestly, it's just easy and nice and I'm, I just love it. I, I'd be buying more Goyard. I absolutely know I will, but I'll be going to London. I won't be going to Paris because, yeah, in London, they're very kind and nice. <laughs> in Paris, they were very, very rude. Anyway, my conclusion is that there is room for both of these. They are going to serve their purpose. This is a real workhorse if I've got more to carry or if it, something I'm really not bothered about because this is already battered. This I will still try to look after a little bit while it's so new, but I think it's pretty indestructible. We will see if I get corner wear on the leather and, and everything else, but I've bought this to use it, to use it for travel. Sometimes you don't want something quite as big as the GM Neverfull. It's just that little bit too big um, and bulky if you've just got a few bits, but you still want that look. So, yeah, my conclusion is it's amazing. I love it. I absolutely love it. So I think you need both. You need a Neverfull in the GM and you need an Artois. And I sort of think you don't need a St. Louis. That's my conclusion. <laughs> I love them both. I will be back to Goyard. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Are you a lover of the MM in the Neverfull? I just can't get over the strap drop of it. It's just so annoying. And there's so many beautiful limited edition prints and all sorts come out in that one. And I just never want to buy it. Just make the strap drop a little bit more, please, Louis Vuitton. <laughs> anyway, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on another one.